when smoke first started to fill the Parisian sky from the Notre Dame Cathedral in April 2019, it was a sight so shocking it seemed to stop time itself. The fire that tore through Notre Dame was not just a catastrophe for Paris, but a heartbreak felt around the world. New breaking news out of Paris, we're getting word of what appears to be a fire. And Notre Dame in flames. Let's go live now with images from the sea. However, as a result of the heroic efforts from Parisian firefighters, they were able to save this masterpiece of Gothic design from total destruction. After five long years, the first stage of the restoration project is finally going to complete in 2024. This restoration not only saved Notre Dame from ruin, but also enhanced its Gothic features, leaving a legacy that would captivate both Parisians and visitors from around the world for generations to come. Today, we're going to explore the finer details of the Notre Dame Cathedral, including the specifics of that 2019 fire, what parts of the restoration project will complete in 2024, and finally, what the entire restoration project will look like when completed in 2028. Before we begin, please subscribe to the channel. We really need your help to grow the channel. Thanks! Located in the heart of Paris, on the Isle de la Cité, Notre Dame Cathedral emerges not just as a monument of architectural grandeur, but as a living chronicle of history. Its construction, spanning from 1163 to 1345, heralded the dawn of the Gothic architecture's prominence in Europe. The cathedral's design, characterized by its innovative use of the flying buttress, allowed for higher walls and the stunning stained glass windows that flood the interior with light. Over the centuries, Notre Dame has been the epicenter of French cultural and spiritual life, witnessing events that have shaped the destiny of France. It served as the majestic setting for the coronation of Napoleon Bonaparte in 1804 a moment that underscored its significance as a national symbol. The cathedral has also been a sanctuary for some of Christianity's most revered relics, further embedding it in the spiritual heart of the nation. Of course, with a building this age, it is inevitable that she will need the occasional trip to the beauty salon to maintain her good looks. Since her birth, Notre Dame has undergone many reconstructions, restoration and cleaning projects. Actually, on the fateful evening of April 2019, the Notre Dame Cathedral was undergoing a $6.8 million restoration that had begun in 2017. On April 15, 2019, a catastrophic fire engulfed Notre Dame Cathedral, one of the most iconic landmarks of Paris. The blaze began about 6.30 p.m. and rapidly spread through the wooden structures of the cathedral's roof and spire. After 90 minutes, despite the efforts of firefighters, the 360-ton timber and lead spire gave way and crashed through the stone vaulting, causing catastrophic damage. Broadcast live around the world, millions of people were left in shock and disbelief. The global reaction was immediate and profound. People from all corners of the globe watched in horror as flames ravaged the historic structure, expressing their sorrow and solidarity with France. Social media platforms were flooded with messages of support and landmarks around the world were lit up in the colours of the French flag as a sign of unity. Even Donald Trump had some wacky, needless advice for the firefighters. Firefighting efforts were intense and heroic. 500 firefighters battled the blaze, who risked their lives to save the cathedral and its invaluable treasures. Thanks to their bravery and skill, the main structure, including the bell towers, was saved from destruction. Remarkably, many of the cathedral's precious artifacts and artworks were rescued due to the quick action of emergency services and the community who formed human chains to transport relics and art to safety. In the aftermath of the fire, there was an immediate immobilization to protect and restore the cathedral. French President Emmanuel Macron vowed to rebuild Notre Dame, and a global fundraising campaign was launched. The fundraising efforts that followed were nothing short of extraordinary. 
donations poured in from every corner of the globe, amassing nearly $1 billion. This remarkable sum came from individuals, corporations and governments, all united by a common desire to see Notre Dame restored. The generosity displayed is an indication to the deep emotional and cultural connections people everywhere feel towards the cathedral and the French capital. The restoration project itself is a meticulous undertaking, balancing the need for speed with the imperative to preserve the cathedral's historical, artistic and architectural integrity. Experts from various fields, architects, stonemasons, carpenters and stained glass restorers, among others, are involved in the painstaking work of stabilising and restoring Notre Dame. This includes recreating the oak-framed roof and the spire in a manner faithful to the original Gothic design, eschewing proposals that would modernise their appearance in favour of preserving the cathedral's iconic silhouette. As we edge closer to a critical moment of Notre Dame Cathedral's partial reopening in December 2024, the restoration efforts have been both extensive and meticulous, showcasing a blend of historical fidelity and modern architecture. Nearly a thousand workers were involved in various facets of the restoration, ensuring that each element from the stained glass windows and limestone walls to the timber roof receives the attention it deserves. The first stage in the restoration was to prevent a total collapse of the cathedral after the fire. This stage was extremely dangerous as the crumbling stone vaults and twisted burnt scaffolding could collapse at any moment and in doing so bring down the whole cathedral. To counteract this, motion sensors were installed to detect the smallest of movement giving the crew ample time to evacuate after the sound of the alarm. The first idea to prevent the collapse was to build a steel skeleton inside the nave to brace the walls. However, it was decided that this was just too dangerous, so the team compromised by building timber frames under the buttresses outside. This meant that if the vaulting did fall in, the buttresses wouldn't push on the walls and the walls wouldn't collapse. The next stage of the daring operation was tirelessly securing the massive, melted scaffolding that had been badly burnt and mangled by the fire. The scaffolding, weighing more than a jumbo jet and resting only on four thin legs, posed a significant threat. The plan involved wrapping three massive steel lattice beams around it to tie the fragile upper parts together. As part of the strategy, Additional scaffolding was constructed on either side, with steel beams laid across for support. This meticulous approach allowed workers to enter the compromised scaffolding and undertake the enormous task of cutting off its 50,000 steel poles and deconstruct it. Once the team successfully completed this, they could proceed to the next phase, which involved putting up a temporary roof to protect the workers and the cathedral from the elements. The structural integrity of the cathedral, particularly the vaults damaged during the fire, has been a significant focus. Stone masons have skillfully repaired and sealed the vaults, employing medieval techniques to ensure the cathedral regains its original form and structure. This effort underscores the restoration's dedication to authenticity, using traditional methods to honour the cathedral's historical and architectural significance. In line with ensuring the cathedral's architectural fidelity, the restoration of the roof structures is nearing completion, utilising oak harvested throughout France. The timber roof, colloquially known as the forest, due to its extensive use of timber, has been entirely replaced. This phase saw the application of traditional medieval carpentry techniques facilitated by craftsmen trained in these age-old methods. A significant milestone in this journey was the reconstruction of the cathedral's iconic spire, a symbol of resilience and renewal. This restoration adhered closely to the original design by Eugène villeroy le duc featuring a wooden structure covered in lead sheath. The top of the new spire will be adorned with a cross and a copper rooster, 
expected to be visible during the Paris Olympic Games. The official reopening plans set for December 8, 2024 include a procession carrying the revered Notre Dame statue back to the cathedral, marking a symbolic return to its heart of Paris. This event will kick off a grand schedule of celebrations, culminating in the first Mass in the restored cathedral, which coincides with the second Sunday of Advent. This marks a new chapter for Notre Dame, one filled with hope and spiritual renewal. And in about four years from now, the ambitious journey of Notre Dame's cathedral's restoration is expected to reach another monumental milestone beyond its partial reopening in 2024. The grand vision for 2028 encompasses a comprehensive completion of the restoration efforts, uniting meticulous craftsmanship with innovative solutions to ensure the cathedral's resilience and sustainability for future generations. The restoration of the grand organ, a crucial piece of Notre Dame's musical heritage, showcases the depth of craftsmanship involved in the project. Specialised organ builders are dedicated to restoring the organ's bellows and console, ensuring the instrument's 8,000 pipes can once again fill the cathedral with their iconic sound. This phase of restoration, focusing on both the mechanical and aesthetic restoration of the organ, highlights the commitment to preserving the cathedral's historical integrity while embracing the technical challenges of restoration. Beyond the cathedral itself, the surrounding area of Notre Dame is set for a transformative greening project. This initiative aims to enhance the visitor experience and integrate the cathedral more seamlessly with its environment. By eliminating barriers and introducing more green spaces, the project seeks to create a more accessible and climate resilient surrounding for Notre Dame. The underground parking lot's conversion into a visitor centre and the introduction of a thin layer of water in front of the cathedral are innovative solutions to modern challenges, aiming to lower temperatures during heat waves and improve the overall aesthetic and functionality of the space. And there we have it folks, a journey through the past, present and future of Notre Dame Cathedral's restoration. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more exciting architectural brilliance around the world. See you in the next one.